Hey guys, it's Hold Fast Goalkeeping here. Today I decided to make a video on one-on-ones, breakaway saves, slash, you know, making a save on a one-on-one -on -one situation. I got a lot of requests for, for these type of videos, so I finally made some time to edit some video for you guys. The main thing I want to stress is that if you come off your line as a goalkeeper, you have to go off your line 100% torpedo style, uh, but... The biggest thing that I also want to stress is that a lot of goalkeepers misjudge distance and and decisiveness is so important as a goalkeeper because you're the last man in defense. If you make a mistake, it's a goal. So you really need to understand when it is that you need to plant your feet and ready yourself for a shot. Not every single time the ball is going to go in the box is, uh, is the striker is going to try to put it past you you know, make you look silly by diving and just going dribbling around you and scoring. A lot of times, if you do it correctly and you know you cannot get to that ball in time, you have to position yourself in front of the ball, plant your feet, goalkeeper ready position, and make a save. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been in that situation, especially on smaller pitches, of course, like seven aside, five aside. But even on 11 aside, the ball comes into the edge of the box. There's no way you can get it, get to it in time. You have to start, you know, shuffling, getting your ball or getting your body in front of the ball, positioning yourself to make uh, a save. And, of course, you want to come off your line at all times on a one-on-one. -on -one. And you're going to make bad position decisions like here I made a bad decision here I left too much space for the uh, near post my buddy was able to blast it in I wasn't able to to react in time to make the save so it's very important that you come off your line regardless but the difference is is if you come off to gather a ball because you know you can get to it on time is you go full sprint full speed like as you just seen there in that clip or you're coming off your line to position yourself and ready, ready, your, ready yourself, narrow the angle to make a save. So that's what it comes. To, that's what it comes down to: repetition, training, practice to prepare yourself to make the best decision as possible. Uh, another thing is: is how do you like? How should you stand in a ready position as a goalkeeper? The closer you are to the ball the smaller you want to get and the more you want to bring your hands together, your feet together, kind of compact yourself to be able to make a diving save just in case the, the, the striker does try to go around you. The further you are away from the ball, the wider stance you want. So that gives you the opportunity to make a, a big save if the ball does go across your body for a far post or, or something like that. And what you saw just in that clip is me coming out clearing out the ball, sweeping out the ball with my feet because I got to the ball quick enough and I knew that he was going to try and do something sneaky because he had no time for a shot to try to do a crossover dribble. Therefore, I was able to, to cut it out with my feet. Uh, so with going back to what I was saying with the wide stance situation, you have to be mentally prepared that it's one of those gray areas where you're not too close to get too small but you're not too far away to get too big, but you always leave the chance of the striker putting the ball between your legs. So we see that a lot in high-level football, uh, Premier League, and all the top leagues of goalkeepers getting scored by the ball being pushed through between their legs. It's something that I've worked on so hard the past probably four or five months of preparing myself for that because so many strikers try to do it, especially if you cut the angle off really well. It's just the perfect opportunity to get it through that gap. So you just got to work on dropping your legs quickly to prevent that. Other than that, it's part of goalkeeping, reactions, positioning, the whole, you know, the whole bag of chips, man. We really got to be on point. It's the most difficult position in, in football on the field, and that's why we love it. Hold fast goalkeeping. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.